you know, obviously a disappointing loss, um, especially um, given the present set of circumstances. Um, hats off to Copper. Um, they shot the basketball extremely well. Um, and we, look, we, we, we beat them twice this year, but it could have went either way, you know, both times. And that's what MEAC basketball is around this time of the year. It sucks being on the um, bottom end of it, but um, hats off to Juan Dixon. Um, you know, they've battled some, some injuries throughout the year. And um, the first couple of times we played them, they didn't have uh, Zazuela. I want to be respectful and get his name right, Jesse uh, Zazuela. Um, but we already knew he was a good player just by looking at him in the non-conference segments. And, you know, he makes everyone better around him, and he solidifies them in getting a good shot. Right, and he can create not only for himself, but manufacture points for others. And I just thought he was huge down the stretch. He made some huge threes. We had a miscommunication on the ball screen that allowed him to get one from the corner. And that was, that's all that's on me. Like, uh, I thought I communicated it properly, but we didn't. We didn't execute it. Um, I'm extremely proud of our guys, though. Even though we're on the short end of the stick, this was going to be a rebuilding year. We knew that. You know, it was difficult to um, make the decision. We had eight seniors last year. So um, it was difficult to make the decision in the midst of a pandemic to say, we're going to start over, knowing that we were going to have to deal with super seniors and 24 year olds and you know all of these things. And so we just made the decision. So we accepted it as a rebuilding year. And then we just thought we found some light at the end of the tunnel throughout the course of the year. And I was like, yo, this team could be pretty special. Um, I thought the difference in the game was down the stretch, we just didn't have the necessary bodies. We had, we're out five scholarship basketball players right now. So it's it's hard during this time of year to be short man. And it's all about health uh, and timing. And so hats off to Coppin, um, hats off to Juan Dixon. They played an um, incredible game. And um, they made 12 three-pointers. They shot 41%, you know, from the three-point line. So they're going to shoot the ball like that. You know, they're difficult to beat. We're young. We, don't, we only lose one guy off that team, right? And so, you know, we'll have some guys returning. And um, I just told them, in the, in the spirit of the universe, it's almost like you have to go through some pain before you obtain the prize, right? And, I mean, you guys know me. You know my upbringing, so... That's just kind of who I am. I don't never think you can circumvent that process because I just don't think life rewards you that way. Um, I just think you got to go through some pain um, before you ultimately receive the prize. And um, hopefully this can be their pain. This can be their teachable moment. Um, I was extremely proud of the resiliency that they showed, you know, down the stretch. And we had a key. We missed a box out. and. You know, we missed a free throw and we missed a layup here or there. And I thought we started panicking, you know, a little bit. Um, and that's on me. I got to calm our troops down and, you know, prepare them for these moments. But, you know, it's the first time being in the system, right? And the, and the teams that win right now um, have that experience. You know, Norfolk, you know, they, they, they have a lot of experience. They got a lot of returning players that, you know, they didn't get it. They, they weren't affected by COVID last year so they they kind of played a, lot, a large amount of games so those guys have that experience and now Joe Bryan and Hawkins and those guys added with the extra pieces they're bringing that leadership and the same thing with Coppin you know they they had a chance to play you know a lot of basketball last year it seemed like we were the only ones who didn't play some basketball but those experiences have helped shape them and prepare them for those moments and so this year had to be our experience year Right, and you know, hopefully we can get better. I told our guys, you know, when you got North Carolina Central on your chest, the expectation is through the roof, right? Every we we've sport so many people, right, it, it, including our own fans. Everyone is spoiled because they're used to cutting down nets, and you know that's our standard, and we're going to continue to hold ourselves to that standard. We got to get better.